I will show you how to use a custom football player dataset to train our YOLO11 model using Ultralytics. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. First, what you want to do is download your data sets. So here I'm going to go to universe.roboflow.com. And here you can see that I went to the football players detection computer vision project here. And then up on top, you could go to the download project button. Go ahead and click on that. Then I'm going to select the format that I'm using, which is YOLO V11. Then from there, it's going to prompt this window. And then you just want to hit continue. And then what it'll do is download all of the files for you into a zip file. And then you could use that data set. Now let's talk about the YOLO11 dataset folder structure. So when you download it, you're going to see the test, train, and valid folder. And then inside of those folders is going to be the image and labels folder. And the last and most important file, which is the data.yaml file, which I'll talk about later on. But here you can see that in your images and labels folder, you're going to have images. Here it's in JPEG. It could be a different data format. But your labels is in the TXT file. And what we want to notice is that each of the file names will be the, exactly the same, except the extensions will be different. So here, the images you can see is just a bunch of different views of the football scene. And then here, the labels, you can see that there's a bunch of numbers, which I'll talk about with the structure later on. So if you're trying to annotate your data or download your data, you need to make sure that the label format is in the YOLO11 format. So here is the structure that they have. So you're going to have the location of your object and the width and height of the bounding box. So on the bottom, you can see that we have the class index, xc, yc, the width, and then the height. So that's what each of the lines of the labels represent. Now for the YOLO11 YAML file, what you're going to notice is that when you open up this file, it's going to specify the nc, which is number of classes, and the names of your classes. So here we have the ball, goalkeeper, player, and referee. And then up on top, it also tells you about your train, valid, and test folder structure. So if you want to change it, this is where you would update it so that it'll work accordingly. Now let's go ahead and download our YOLO11 model. So here you can see I'm here at the Ultralytics website. There's going to be the different sizes, the N, S, M, large, and X. So go ahead and choose the one you want based on the specs that you're looking for. And then go ahead and download that. Then you could get it up and running. So before you can run the code, make sure you have everything set up and installed. So here what I did is I created a virtual environment in Python 3.11, and I activated my environment. Then from there, I installed the Torch um, from the command. That's from the Torch website that includes all the Torch Vision, Torch Audio, and CUDA. So make sure you install that. Then from there, I installed the Ultralytics. Now we're ready to train our model with our Python code. So go ahead and create a file here. Here I have import OS from Ultralytics import YOLO. And I have a train function where I call the YOLO function. Pass in my model. I set up some path directory to my data.yaml file and run the model.train with my data and also my epoch. Then from there, I just call the function, and it'll start training. So here you can see that this is the training running. Right here, I'm only doing five epochs. It's going to vary depending on the results that you have. So if you need more, do more. Now to actually look at the training results, we go ahead and go to our folders. It's going to be under the runs, detect, and train number. The number is going to depend on how many times you ran it. And here you can see that inside of our run, you can see all of these files. We'll take a look at some of the files here. So here is the results.png file. You can see my MAP is only up to like 0.275. If you run it a few more times, you could probably get a little bit higher. And then here you can see these are our validation labels here. And then here is our validation prediction. Now, if you want to run inference on the model that you just fine-tuned, Go ahead and run this script here. It's very simple. Call the YOLO command again with your best model, and then run the model with your test image, then do results zero dot show, then you'll see the results. So here you can see that this is the results that we got. And again, your results will vary depending on how much training you do. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.